Queen Camilla has surpassed Meghan Markle in the podcast arena, securing a second season of her book club podcast. It's because Camilla is putting in the work. It's a simple book club podcast where people discuss books, and it's something people actually want to listen to. Queen Camilla's Reading Room podcast is set to return for a second season this week. The podcast, launched earlier this year, is an audio extension of Camilla's popular online book club, which has 172,000 Instagram followers. Camilla, known for a love of books, launched the podcast shortly after research highlighted the benefits of reading and just before the Reading Room Festival at Hampton Court in July. The new season, returning on Monday, May 20, features notable guests including Neil Gaiman, Peter James, Kate M., and Richard D. Grant. Megan, do you think Camilla will let these people record their interviews separately only to add her parts later as we heard you did with your Spotify interviews? No, she won't, and that's the most amusing part. Camilla is putting in the effort, and it shows. The first season reached the top 1% of podcasts globally and topped the UK Arts and Books podcast charts for several weeks, with listeners in 158 countries. So, Megan, what's the excuse this time? Is it going to be about race? While Vicky Perrin, CEO of the Queen's Reading Room, hosts the podcast, Camilla pre-records the segments which will now appear at the start of each episode. The first series featured guests like Serene Rankin, Dame Joan Lumley, and David Bedell, and was listened to in 158 countries. The second season will be available weekly from May 20, creating a space for book lovers to hear from literary heroes. The season will feature authors like Neil Gaiman, Kate Mars, and Peter James, who will share insights into their own reading habits. Queen Camilla will again share some of her all-time favorite reads with listeners. Vicky Perrin said, We were astounded by the response to the first season. It clearly resonated globally, helping listeners connect with books. I hope the season continues to inspire literary adventures. Perrin noted that the podcast is not a rival to Meghan Markle's archetypes, which ended after one season. We're an independent charity thrilled that Her Majesty features on the podcast, but it's not her podcast. She's not the host. Earlier this week, Queen Camilla expressed a love for reading, revealing a desire to attend Hogwarts as she helped launch a literary festival and attended a garden party at the 35th Annual Charleston Festival in Rye, East Sussex. Camilla was asked by a local schoolgirl if there was a fictional place she'd like to visit. She replied, I'd love to go to Hogwarts, jump on the express, and experience the magical world. During the Power of Reading session, she addressed 450 children, saying, Good morning, everyone. I'm sorry about the weather. As the proud patron of Charleston, I'm delighted to welcome you to this year's literary festival. She cited Frances Hodgson Burnett author of The Secret Garden, as one of her favorite authors. Recognizing the thrill of reading, Camilla, an avid reader and patron of several literary organizations, has supported a children's writing competition since 2015. In March, she endorsed research suggesting that five minutes of reading daily is as beneficial as walking 10,000 steps and eating five portions of fruit and vegetables. Simple Book Club She's not reinventing the wheel or changing the world. Megan, you aim to address grand themes like empowering women, but how about simply doing something well? Camilla's podcast succeeds because it focuses on a genuine topic, not self-promotion. This is why she'll likely secure a season 3, season 4, and beyond. She's putting in the effort and delivering content that resonates with listeners, not just talking about herself.